Mount Freeling is a sheep and cattle station. Just barren, just rock. Not a blade grass. Managed by Phil. He and his partner, Gloria, are taking me to lunch. The land we're crossing is loaded with minerals. Copper and talc, particularly, have been heavily mined here over the years. An old police station remains from busier times. And Gloria knows this land better than most. Right, yeah, this is where I grew up. Having been brought up in the old homestead. It was ten, ten of us children. Ten? Ten, yes. In this one old house? In this one wow. old house, yes. Mum, being a mum and a cook, and Dad was a manager here. And did your parents always live around this area? Uh, no. Uh, Mum came from a couple of hours away at, on a mission. So your mum actually grew up on an Aboriginal mission? Yes. Uh, she loves cooking, and her first job was a cook at one of the stations, and she's been a cook ever since. So she's cooked on other stations. Life besides. here was very isolated. Entertainment came from the old piano. And if they could get it, a single radio station signal. It was a simpler lifestyle. Gloria remembers fondly. It's such a tranquil spot. But there was one moment in Gloria's childhood where the peace was shattered. The isolation appeal to scientists on an unusual mission. One of the things that happened in the past, 1971, I think the Australian government wanted to do a, a seismic survey test to measure Australia's mantle, see how deep Australia was. So uh, in order to do that process, there had to be a blast in Kalgoorlie, Dishu's uh, gold mine, and a blast buried deep in the Bass Strait waters. And they picked on this place for a, a deep burial in a Dishu's copper mine. Scientists spent weeks loading 80 tonnes of TNT into this old copper mine. One of three massive explosions planned for the Trans-Australia Seismic Survey. It was designed to calculate the depth and composition of the Australian continent. And in 1971, when Gloria was here, it went kaboom. Yeah. Wow, what a massive blast. Mm. Yes, it was. It was like slow motion, actually. Just like a rumble and then straight up as in the, yeah. Some of the granite boulders are, you know, 10 tonnes. And they've travelled, they've travelled probably 400 metres out this hole. It's enormous, yeah. And all the dust blew this way. And it was just hours of just red dust right over, over here, so yeah. And when it was all over, we were all back in the house and... <laughs> Like Carried nothing on. Had happened. Like nothing yeah. happened, yeah. It's a big hole to clean up. It's a big hole. Yeah. We couldn't wait to go back over and have a look. Yeah. And that big hole is still there. Still yeah. there, and it'll be there forever. The survey results are still referred to today in analysis of the Earth's crust in Australia. <laughs> 